Hi everyone, welcome to the session. I am KJS Khurana. I am teaching Quan to CAT student for about two decades. In this session, I will analyze MAT paper with special focus on data interpretation section. Let's take an overview of the paper. There are 40 questions of one mark each aggregating to total 40 marks. And there is also a negative marking of 0.25 mark per question. And let us take an in-depth analysis of last three actual MAT paper that is MAT May 2015, MAT September 2015 and MAT December 2015. Broadly speaking, we can categorize question into four sections. One is graphs, second is data sufficiency, third is data comparison and last data case length. Let us see the in-depth analysis. Pie chart line graph. These are a regular feature of MAT paper. There are five questions on pie chart and line graph and the difficulty level of these two graphs is very easy. Data comparison and data sufficiency. These range from 5 to 8 and 5 to 10 in number. The difficulty level is very easy since the number is large and difficulty level is easy and they are also less time consuming. So my suggestion is that you should attempt this question at the initial stages. And combination graph, they are from 4 to 10. They are also a regular feature of bad paper. One important thing about combination graph is on prima facia, they are very tough. I mean, on the first look, they appear very tough. But when you solve the question, they are surprisingly very easy. So you shouldn't leave the combination graph just by looking at the graph. And about caselet, they are also a feature of the MAT paper, but surprisingly, this was missing in MAT December 2015 and was replaced by reasoning block. The level of reasoning, difficulty of reasoning block was easy. And about caselet, they are the most time consuming question in MAT paper. So they should be avoided at the initial stage and they should be attempted at the last if time permits. Data table is on and off there and is very easy. Bar graphs are also easy. So this was about the composition of the data section of bad paper of previous three papers. That is September, May and December 2015. For you, we are having a few actual mad questions from data section. I will solve few of them and few will be left for your practice. This will give you an uh, in-depth view of the paper. Let's look at the first question. Each of these questions consists of a question and two statements, one and two. Decide whether the data provided in the statement are sufficient to answer the question. You have to mark the answers accordingly. Mark the answer one, if A alone is sufficient, two, if second alone is sufficient, if together sufficient, then answer three, if both statements together are not sufficient, the answer is fourth option. Here comes the first question. One who makes four deposit in his bank account, what was his total deposit? Let us check each of the statements one by one. The first statement alone is not sufficient. Reason being, largest and smallest deposit is given, but we cannot found the remaining two deposit with this information. Second alone, every deposit was 1250. So average is 1250. So total comes out to be 1250 into 4. So second alone is sufficient and hence the answer. Second question. How many liters of mango juice can be produced from 100 mango trees? 5 mangoes can give half liter of juice. A alone is not sufficient. Each tree produces an average of 300 mangoes. This alone is also not sufficient because we are not given about the production per tree or per mango. So combining these two, we will get the sufficient information to answer the question as they both together are sufficient. So option 3 is the answer. What percent profit on selling 12 dozen of mango? Let us check the first statement alone. Eggs are bought at 60 per dozen. Means CPO of 1 egg is, can be found here, 5 rupees. Selling price, 4 number for 24, 6 rupees. 
So SP and CP both are here. So we can find the percentage profit. So A alone is sufficient. Let us check the second. Markup on X is 20%. Obviously, no information is given for the finding the percentage profit. So second alone is not sufficient. So answer is first option. What percentage did Vijay get in the test of four subject? A alone is not sufficient because given about only two subjects similar, two alone is not sufficient. By combining, we cannot get the answer as total number of marks are nowhere in the information. So data is insufficient. So you can see how simple data sufficiency questions are there in math paper. So as suggested, they should be attempted at the initial stages of paper. Here comes the data comparison questions. There are quantities given in two columns, column A and column B. You have to mark the answer if column A is greater. Quantity in column B is greater than mark answer 2. Two quantities are equal, mark 3 and cannot be made comparison than mark answer 4. Here comes the first question. <coughs> it's a simple board mass question. 16 plus divided by 4, 4 plus 16 minus 8 is 12. So 12 plus 1 divided by 5 is 0.2 minus 3. Obviously, it's 9.2. So column A is greater. So first option is the answer. Very simple board mass question. Next question. Column A, column B. Very simple calculation. You can solve it. Semi-circumference of a circle with radius 10. What is semi-circumference? This is it. Radius 10. So it's pi r plus 2 r. As radius is 10, so it's 20 plus 2 pi, 10 pi. Circumference of circle is 2 pi r. r here is 5, so it's 10 pi. So column A quantity is 10 pi plus 20. It's only 10 pi. So obviously column A is greater. First option. Column A, column B, very simple question. You just need to know the circumference of circle and formula for perimeter of square. Here comes the graph. Study the, study the following graph to answer this question. It's a combination graph. Graph A given, graph B given, and graph C given. You can read the information. Graph A indicates the average price per car. Graph B gives the production in units. And graph C the growth rate of the entire car industry on volume basis. These are A, C and this is graph B. Let us see the first question. What is the average annual growth rate of XYZ car production for the period 2011 to 2014? Let us see. Obviously, graph is C, uh, B is to be used. 2011 to 2014, so there is an increase of 30 to 60, 100 percent. But in question, it is asked about the average production. So it's 100 by 3, 33.33. Hence, fourth option is the answer. Let us move on to the next question. What is the percentage share of XYZ in 2012 if the total production of car industries is 3 lakh in that year. So 2012 share of XYZ is 50 in 1000. So it's 50,000. So we are asked about 50,000 is how much percent of 3 lakh. So it's 1 by 6 exactly. So 1 by 6 is 16.66 and 16.7 is the answer. So first option is the answer. So this is very simple combination graph which on prima facie on the first look you can say was difficult but questions are easy. Table A gives the readership. Next question. In 2001 and 2004, table B indicates the number of magazines. So this is table A and this is table B. Let us see the first question. Between 2011 and 13, the number of magazines added is. So obviously, table B is to be used. So 2011, the number of magazine, this is English, 12, 3, 15, 3, 18, 4, 22. Table B, 10 plus 2, 12 plus 4, 16 plus 2, 18. So total number of magazines in 2011 is 22 plus 18, 40. 
Similarly, in 2013, 17, 7, 24, 5, 29, and 6, 35, and 15 for 19, 7, 26, and for 30, 35 plus 30, it's 65. So, question asked is the increase in number, so it's 65. Minus 40, hence 25, second option is the answer. Friend, very simple tabular question. Again, ratio of added Hindi magazine to the added English magazine between 2011 and 2012. Obviously, again, table B is to be used. 2011 English magazine, 12, 3, 15, 3, 18, 4, 22. English 15, 520, 25, 25 and 530. So magazines added English are 30 minus 22, that is 8. Similarly, Hindi magazines 12 for 16 to 18, 14, 3, 20, 17, 6, 23 plus 3, 26. They are also 26 minus 18, 18 numbers. So 8 and 8, the required ratio is. 8 is to 8, that is 1, hence third option is the answer. Very simple question, just addition. Again, question or ratio of similar type that we did in the previous question. So you can solve it yourself. This is for your practice. Here comes the question BPO for 2013-14 are given below. The total employee strength of the company in 2013 was 90,000 and was a 20 percent increase in number of employees in 2014. Let us see the question. Combination of pie graph. Pie chart is there. Two pie charts 2013 and 2014. You can see the next question. What is the approximate percentage change in number of employees at location C of the company between 2013 and 2014? Let us see how we solve it. It's 76%. You can observe that 90,000 is a common quantity. Here it's 74%. Say we take 90,000 as one. So it's 74% of 1.2. So 76 percentage percentage is a common thing, cancels out. So it's 76 and final quantity is 1.2 into 74, it's 88.8. .8. So required percentage increase is 76 to 88.8, .8. it's 12.8 upon 76 which is exactly 16.84 percent. What is the ratio number of employees and location being 2013 and 2014? Very easy question. Students, you can solve it yourself. It's for your practice. Last question, question number 16. It's again a combination graph. Pie chart shows the percentage turnover of each item in Tanzania by a company AYZM. The bar graph gives the turnover in million dollar in Africa. Here is this one Tanzania and this is turnover in Africa. One important information is rest of Africa refers to those countries which are in Africa other than Tanzania. So Africa minus Tanzania is rest of Africa. Here is the question. Turnover from Tanzania for electrical goods and handicrafts together is how many times turnover from rest of Africa for garments. Let us see. Electrical goods and handicrafts is 25%. 25% means 40 into 25% is 1 by 4, say 10 million. So this quantity is 10 million. Is how much percent many times turnover from rest of Africa for garments? So in Tanzania, garment is 30% of 40, which is 12. And the required figure is 40 minus 12, 28. So now question becomes 10 is how many times 28? So it's 10 upon 28, which is none other than 0.36. So this was the last question of this session. Last but not the least. One important point you should remember 
that all the set tip set strategies cannot be mastered without sufficient practice. So it is suggested that you should attempt a few previous math papers before attempting the actual one. Thank you. All the best. Have a nice day.